everyone, it's Gian alum at Convincing Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto blockchain technology. Today, I have an exciting update for the Cardano community and anyone interested in AI, artificial intelligence. Yesterday, I released a video on GPT-4 and how it exposed vulnerabilities in an Ethereum smart contract. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it up above. For anybody unfamiliar with GPT-4, it's OpenAI's brand new large multimodal language model. It was just released on Tuesday. This is not sponsored in any way, but I've been using the AI to do all kinds of things, from writing recipes, to finding data sets for research, to giving movie recommendations. Today though, I decided to use GPT-4 to write a Cardano smart contract. A smart contract is a pre-programmed automatic digital agreement. It's self-executing, unalterable, and incorruptible. So if you don't trust humans, this might be the thing for you. Right now, Cardano smart contracts can be programmed in several different languages. That includes Marlowe, Aiken, Plutus, and Eopsin. Eopsin is based on Python, and I want to use that in the future, but for now, I decided to go with Plutus. All right, here's the prompt that I gave GPT-4. Please develop a simple smart contract written in Plutus. It responded by saying, I'll provide a simple example of a Cardano smart contract in Plutus that acts as a basic escrow service. This smart contract will hold funds until both parties agree to release the funds to the receiver. Note that this is a simplified example and may require additional features and validation for real-world use cases. And it actually did it. Let's take a look. So it imports everything and basically writes out the rules and conditions. And then it wrote out a description and the limitations. This is a simple example of a Cardano smart contract in Plutus that defines an escrow service. The escrow validator function ensures that the contract rules are enforced, such as whether the sender or receiver can agree or disagree on the transaction. The escrow datum data type holds information about the two parties involved and their agreement status, while the escrow redeemer data type redeems the possible actions that can be taken. The escrow instance function creates a script instance from the validator function, which is used to generate the validator script and its corresponding address. Please note that this is just the on-chain part of the contract, and you'll need to implement off-chain code for wallet integrations and endpoints to interact with the contract. Additionally, this example may need further improvements for real-world use cases, such as handling timeouts and more sophisticated logic for agreement-disagreement conditions. So that was a very simple smart contract, I tried playing around with more complicated projects. If you want me to release those, let me know in the comments below or any other ideas you might have. This is the future of innovation, and I think AI and blockchain technology can be used to make the world a better place. That's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content, and I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye!